Hey, this is Laura, G-Force Athletics. If you own a pair of Liebert Equalizer Bars, you already know they're excellent tools for your strength training routine. But do you also know that there are a variety of ways you can stretch your muscles using the EQ Bars? So you go grab your bars and meet me back here for a stretching routine. We'll start by stretching the muscles in our upper body by using one bar. So you want to face the bar, place both hands on the bar, and as you do, you want to tilt that bar away from you. you stick your tailbone back as if you're doing a down dog, if you're familiar with yoga, and let your head relax between your arms. So you're lengthening your spine and stretching your arms out, and also the muscles in the back of your legs. Just really tilt that bar away. Feel that gentle stretch all the way down the back of your body and let your head and your neck relax. And you want to slowly come up out of the stretch. Every time you transition from one stretch to the other, go, go slowly. And then tilt the bar towards you and as you do, lower the handle down to your knees, rounding your back and your shoulders and again allowing your head to relax for a deeper stretch in your lower back and in your hamstrings. Alright, slowly come up out of that. Hold the bar straight up over your head. Let me show you from the side. We're going to stretch your shoulders. So your arms are straight. And what you want to do is just lower your arms behind you and behind your shoulders, keeping your arms straight. So you're full of stretch in your rear shoulders and in your back. Your back is slightly arched. So there's a slight extension in your back. And this stretches the top and the rear part of your shoulder muscles. Slowly come out of this stretch. I'll face the camera for this one. You want to stretch your shoulders. Take the bar, swing it around slowly to the left. And with your left hand, just push the bar back behind you and hold on with your right hand. That way you're pulling. You should feel a slight stretch in your right shoulder. Keep your hips facing forward. You don't want to twist your body with the bar. Otherwise, you're not going to stretch your shoulders. Just going to push back with your right hand and pull back with your left. And then slowly come around. And again, I don't know how long I'm holding these, but I would hold this for about 20 to 30 seconds. So pull back with your right arm behind you. Push back with your left. Keep your hips facing forward so you're stretching your shoulder muscles only. The more you twist, the less you're taking, the less resistance you're taking away from your shoulders. All right, slowly come out of that. Let's grab both bars and we'll do some leg stretches. Have the bars far apart so you can stand in between them. Take your left foot, place it on the bar behind you on the grip handle. You might want to step forward with your right foot. We're going to strip your, stretch your hip flexors, which is your psoas muscle and your quads. So this may be enough of a stretch for you. If it's not, bring that bar, tilt it towards you with your foot, and bend your right knee. And you want to keep your upper body straight so you'll feel that stretch all the way down the front of your right leg and then your hip flexor, which is just above your hip bone, or just to the inside of your hip bone. Remember, if you need a greater stretch, just pull that bar forward a little bit, pulling that leg forward. Release, let's do the other leg, so step down with your left foot, take your right foot, place it on the handle of the bar, and again, keep that upper body straight, this may be enough stretch for you for your quads, which is the front of your leg muscles and your hip flexor. If not, tilt that bar towards you. Bend your left knee if you need to. And hold this for 20 to 30 seconds. It's an excellent stretch. Especially if you're a runner or if you do a lot of leg exercises.
Now we'll do the inner and outer thighs. The bars are still far, spaced far apart. You're standing in between. Take your left, I've got different color bars, so I'll say the green bar, but I'm gonna use my left leg. Place your foot on its side. So your toes are, your foot is flexed, your toes are face forward. And then just let that relax. Let your, your leg relax so you're stretching the inside of your leg muscles or your, your adductors. And then bend your right knee if you need to get a little lower. If you're, if you're tall and that bar is not quite tall enough to give you a stretch, then bend your right knee so you'll feel that gentle stretch in your inner thigh or your adductor. And again, we're, I would suggest holding these 20 to 30 seconds. Again, it depends on what kind of session you just finished. Let's do the right leg. So the right foot is laying sideways on the pink bar. Foot is flexed, toes are facing forward. I need a deeper stretch, so I'm gonna bend my left knee. So I go down a little bit further, so I actually feel that stretch in my inner thigh or my adductors. And when you're stretching your leg muscles especially, make sure you don't stretch to the point of feeling a pull. You just want to feel a nice, gentle, recovering kind of stretch. All right, now let's stretch our abductors or our outer thighs. So you want to step kind of behind the bar. I'm going to stretch my right leg by placing it up and across on the left bar. Foot is still laying sideways on the bar. But now I feel a gentle stretch in the outside of my thigh. And again, because of my height and because of the height of the bar, I'm going to bend my left knee just to give me a little bit or give my leg a little bit deeper stretch. These bars also come in an extra large. I think they're about two or three inches taller. Um, so if you're, I'd say if you're 5'8", five, 5'9", five, a little bit taller, you may want to order the larger pair. All right, let's stretch that left leg. And again, I'm just using the other bar for assistance because you don't want to really focus on balance. You don't want to be bouncing around while you're trying to stretch your muscles. So left leg up and across to the pink bar. Foot lays sideways on that bar. My leg is straight. I'm going to bend my right knee so I get a deeper stretch in my abductor. Make sure your foot is turned so you feel it in the outside of your thigh and not your hamstring, which is the back. We'll get to those next. All right, slowly release that leg. Now let's do the hamstrings. So you'll stand in front of one bar. I'm gonna take my right foot. This time my heel only is resting on the bar. And I'm just gonna to lean towards the, the bar that my foot is resting on. Relax my head, my neck. So you shouldn't feel any tension through your shoulders or through your neck muscles. You should feel a gentle stretch in the back of your leg. Keep your foot flexed, which means your toes are facing the ceiling. Your foot's not pointed. And then let's switch to the left leg. That foot goes up. On the foam handle is more comfortable, of course. Your heel only. Lean forward if you're able to. Grab that bar and lean forward and allowing the back the, leg, the muscles in the back of your leg to stretch gently. Remember to keep your foot flexed. If you're pointing your foot like that, you're not going to feel the stretch as much. So keep the foot flexed. Okay. One more standing stretch, and then we'll get on the floor. So if you need a mat or a towel, we'll do that. Let's stretch our glutes on our butt muscles. Cross it over. And then have your knee resting on the bar. And you might want to bend that right knee just to get a little lower. If you're tall, again, like me, you might want to get a little lower of the bar, allowing your knee to just kind of drop down. So you'll feel this again in your hamstrings, but also in your bottom. And then slowly release that leg and we'll do the right. And remember, I'm just having this bar here just in case I need it. But you can most of the time just hold on to one. 
So step close to the bar, take your right leg, cross it over, laying your shin all the way on the bar. I'm going to bend my left knee so I can get a little bit lower, get a little deeper stretch in my glutes. And hold this for about 20 to 30 seconds. All right, great. So go grab a towel or a mat if you want to, and we'll get on the floor and we'll finish our stretches. Okay, so now we're on the floor. Take the bar and lay it on its side. Hold the feet with your hands and then place your feet on the handle. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna pull your toes towards you for a calf stretch and then point. So you'll flex and point. You're getting a really good stretch in your calves and then point a little bit to stretch those shin muscles. Hold it, so you don't wanna keep moving. You wanna pull, hold, and then point and hold. And you're giving yourself resistance by holding the feet of the bar. We said it one more time. Pull for a good deep calf stretch, and then flex your feet, pull that bar away, and you'll feel a stretch in your shins just a little. Now let's stretch a little bit more by coming down. Keep your feet on the bar. So let's lay on all the way on your back. Your feet are pressed up. Hands are still holding the feet of the bar. And just pull those, those toes down for a deeper stretch to your calves. Now you're going to feel it in your hamstrings, especially if you pull, this, pull your feet over your head. So again, if you're a runner, this is an excellent post-run stretch. All right, let's slowly come up out of that. Now we'll stretch our obliques and our lats by doing the seated twist. You want to sit between the legs of the bar. Your feet, your knees are bent and your feet and your knees are facing forward. You want to twist around to the left, place both hands on the feet of the bar, and look over your left shoulder. Hold this position for 20 to 30 seconds, and make sure you breathe while you stretch. This is your recovery, so. And then after about 20 to 30 seconds, you slowly rotate around to the right side, keeping your knees and your feet facing forward. Grab the right, with both hands, grab that right foot and look over your right shoulder. And you should feel a stretch in your obliques and your lats. If you need a deeper stretch, take that right hand and bring it around so you're looking almost all the way around behind your back. Just depends on how much of a stretch you need. To stretch your abs, you want to have the bar faced away from you on the floor. You're on your knees, and you get as far away from the bar as you can while keeping your hands placed on the feet of the bar. And then just lean forward, keeping your arms straight, and stretching your abs. And this is also an ab strengthener, but it's a good stretch too. Another great way to stretch your abs is to bring that bar closer to you. Place your hands right here on top of the feet of the bar. And then pull your chest through your arms and look up. So you have a slight extension in your lower back. And now you're stretching your abs as well as your chest muscles. If you were doing yoga, this would be an up dog with the assistance of an equalizer bar. Make sure you don't overextend your neck. Just allow it, your neck to follow the natural curve of your spine. You don't want to look all, all the way back here, okay? You should be able to be relaxed and breathe with ease. And we'll finish with a couple of back stretches. Take the bar, hold it upside down. Place your feet on the opposite side of the bar that you're seated. Grab the feet of the bar. And then tilt that bar away from you, rounding your shoulders and your back. And 
allow your back to stretch, allow your neck to relax, so you should feel a gentle stretch from your shoulders down to the bottom of your back. And then from here, if you want a deeper stretch, just hold the bar by the handles, bring it a little bit closer, place your feet on the bar, and then lean your chin, rest your chin on your, your knees, tilt the bar away, so that should give you a little bit of a deeper stretch through the midsection of your back. There you go. You could be creative with the bars. Um, I'm sure you could think of some additional stretches, but um, that's a great way to stretch just about every muscle uh, that you probably worked out if you did a full body routine with these bars. So I hope you enjoy it, and I hope you have an amazing day. See you soon.